My wife is dumb. Quite dumb. I admit I noticed it before we were married. I couldn't help but noticing it, of course. But it didn't seem to make so much of a difference to me than it does now. I considered her beauty and her property, and thought of nothing but the advantages of the match and the happiness I should have with her. But now these matters seem less important, and I do wish you could talk. That would be a real intellectual pleasure for me, and what's more, a practical advantage for the household. What does a judge need most in his house? Why, a good-looking wife, to receive the suitors pleasantly, and by subtle suggestions, gently bring them to the point of making proper presents so that their cases may receive more careful attention. People need to be encouraged to make proper presents. A woman, by clever speech and prudent action, can get a good ham for one and a roll of cloth from another, and make still another give poultry or wine. But this poor dumb thing Catherine gets nothing at all. While my fellow judges have their kitchens and cellars and stables and storerooms running over with good things, all thanks to their wives, I hardly get wherewithal to keep the pot boiling. You see, Master Adam Fume, what I lose by having a dumb wife? It's not worth half as much. And the worst of it is, I'm losing my spirits, almost my wits with it all. When I hold my wife in my arms, as woman as beautiful as the finest carved statue, at least so I think, and quite as silent that I'm sure of it. It makes me feel queer and uncanny. I even ask myself if I'm holding a graven image or a mechanical toy or a magic doll made by a sorcerer, not a real human child of our Father in Heaven. Sometimes in the morning I am tempted to jump out of bed to escape bewitchment. Worse yet, what with having a dumb wife, I'm going dumb myself. Sometimes I catch myself using signs as she does. The other day, on the bench, I even pronounced judgment in pantomime and condemned the man to the galleys, just by dumb show and gesticulation.